again we will take our attention into the quadratic in the denominator in fact inside the square root sign and uh, this is uh, 7 minus 6x minus x squared we would like to keep uh, this x squared sign positive so we take negative sign common and everything inside bracket changes yes or no I think yes. <laughs> All right, so this is the thing inside the square root and now making it perfectly square is going to look like, this is going to look like negative outside x plus half the coefficient of x. That is x plus three whole square. We write it like this and we subtract the square of half the coefficient of x and uh, minus seven. It's going to look like negative of x plus 3 whole square minus 3 and minus 7 sorry minus 3 square 9 9 minus 7 is uh, 16 so minus 16 we would like to now take this negative sign inside because the negative sign inside the square root should be made positive otherwise it would be uh, uh, not a real number so what we are going to do is we are changing the sign 16 becomes positive. Well, simply open the bracket 16 positive and minus x plus 3 whole square so the quantity inside is square root now so it means if we put a square root here we put a square root here also yes or no so it means our question after showing this working like 7 minus 6x minus x squared is going to be this. It means our question is now looking like integration of dx divided by it was 16 minus x plus 3 whole squared. Yes or no? Yes, it was like this, which is same as 4 squared. Now look, this 16 is same as 4 squared, isn't it? 16 can be written as 4 squared. Now a squared minus x squared. Simply put x plus 3 is equal to t first. Put x plus 3 is equal to t. That will give you dx is same as dt. And if you represent this question by i, your integral is going to look like dt over square root of 4 square minus t square, isn't it? And it's going to be uh, dt, yeah, a square minus x square, is that sine inverse t over a? It is sine inverse of t over a is 4, sine inverse of t by 4 plus c. We would like to retain the value of t, here it is. So our answer is gonna our answer gonna look like the sine inverse x plus three divided by four and plus c. I think we are done.